thing in 2023. I don't know, but my hair was not having it today. So we're gonna plop it on and get going. Happy New Year, friends. Oh my goodness, can you believe it is 2023? I am so excited for what's ahead. I love Mondays, I love the beginning of a new month, and I love the start of a new year. There's just something so refreshing and exciting about the blank slate in front of us. So today I wanted to sit down and talk about some goals I have for the year. I don't like the word resolution. Uh, new Year's resolution I feel like just has such a negative connotation with it and it's almost like you're expected to fail at it. <laughs> I like to set more ideas maybe for the year. Basically just sit down, think through last year, think on things that I'd like to improve this year, and then set those goals, write them down, and I feel like it just helps me be more intentional throughout the year. I am so excited also that this video is in collaboration with my beautiful friend, Beth Grace Moore. Beth is also from Canada, which if you've been around here for a while, you know that I was born and raised in Canada as well. Beth is a mom of two. She, her youngest was actually just born a couple, I think months ago by now. Beth recently shared her home birth on her channel, which was incredible. It made me tear up. So sweet and she is a wonderful mama to her two little kids. I love how positive she is about motherhood. She does a beautiful job decorating. She is so talented and I love seeing what she comes up with. After you're done watching this video, make sure to head over there, tell her I sent you, show her some love and you are going to love what she has to share. So. Can't wait to see her 10 goals for 2023, but let's get started on these 10 goals for 2023. These are not in any specific order per se. I just kind of sat down, jotted them down. First on my list is to make the most of what we've been given. So what I mean by this basically is just maximizing our space. I think of often like we have a lot of land and how that could be used, thinking of gardening. Obviously growing up in Canada, we could only do one round, so to speak, of gardening. Here I could actually do a fall garden. Never done that officially. Last year I planted a little bit of spinach and kale, I believe, at the end of the year. But that is something I'd like to keep in mind. I think would be really good to do. So that's something. And then with all the milk we get, unlimited raw milk. I love making my own cottage cheese, yogurt, butter, all those things. But the one that has been bothering me that I don't know how to do is cheese. I know how to make mozzarella, but I'd love to learn to make like cheddar cheese, especially with the price of groceries these days. I feel like it's ridiculous for me not to learn. <laughs> So that is something, specifically cheese, that I would like to accomplish in the year 2023. Number two is to shop more ethically. This has been something else that has been on my mind so much over the past two years, I would say, just kind of a growing passion for small shops. So this is kind of twofold. I don't like sweatshops. I hate that. And it is not something that I want to support but then on the flip side, I just have such a passion for these small shops, specifically like family owned businesses, things like that, to see them thrive. And it, I know it feels like I'm just one person and there's all these shops, like what difference can I make? But I've been encouraged recently that like every single person can make a difference. So when a lot of us decide we're gonna do this, then it can have a huge effect. So. Uh, that is something I want to do this year specifically. I have decided for this year that I want to try to completely avoid shopping at Target, H&M, Walmart, and Old Navy. So I know those are some really popular stores to shop at and I can still buy those things at like used at a thrift store. We have an auction center near us that often auctions off Target things, but I do not want to buy directly from those stores. This year, I wasn't sure like what to set it at. I thought of doing everything like Amazon, like all these different ones. I'll start with this for this year because there's definitely also a balance of being wise as far as our resources often small shops are more expensive. So I decided to start with this this year and then we'll see where we go from there. I'm really excited to support more small shops. So if you have a small shop or a favorite one that you like to shop at, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know like what category it is. 
clothing, home decor, or whatever, so that I could check them out, and I would love to support some new ones this year. Number three on my list is to bake more with my kids. I love being in the kitchen with my kids, and last year, as part of our homeschool routine, we were really good about Mondays was drawing day, and then Wednesdays was our baking day or our kitchen day. I love just teaching them hands-on life skills. That's a really important part of homeschool for me. So I would love to bring that back. I don't feel like we've been doing super good at that this year, just so much other things going on. That is something I want to do more with them. Number four is to declutter slash organize our entire home. This one has bothered me for a long time. We have lived at this place for two years, I believe, and I have never properly gone through organized everything and it is driving me crazy like it's embarrassing it makes me feel so cluttered in my head so that is something i really really want to change this year actually starting next week if you're new here we live in an old 1700s home yes the ones with all the like two foot thick stone walls that kind of thing it has seven bedrooms four bathrooms a couple like living areas, seating areas. You would think that you would want more stuff, which yes, I cannot believe the amount of furniture it takes to furnish this place. We're still not nearly done. But I'm just finding that I'm more, I don't know if I can say minimalist driven. I know that word is pretty like, oh, you better know what you're talking about. But kind of that idea, because in my mind, it's all the more space for clutter and all the more space to feel overwhelmed by. And so I wanna develop some really solid systems. Every closet, every room, that's my goal. Five is to do a Spotify journal. I've never actually heard of this done before. I have so many years tried to be intentional about journaling. And it just comes down to, I do not enjoy journaling. It overwhelms me, it stresses me out, it feels like a chore, but I love having something to look back on. And honestly, my planner does that quite a bit, like as far as what we did each day. And my Bible is full of notes as far as like spiritually, how I'm doing, highlights there. I like to put those directly in my Bible. But I had this idea sometime in the past year and thought, I want to try that. So what I want to do, I love listening to music and it's something I want to do more. Music often really speaks to me. So what I want to do this year is to kind of journal my year through a Spotify playlist. So I have one specifically called 2023. I'm hoping to at least once a week save a song on this playlist that pertains to what I'm going through. I know there's already songs that really are so special to me just because of when I heard them, what I was going through then, and so kind of just to keep that on. And then through the end of the year, I can listen to this whole play playlist and just see God's faithfulness throughout the year, the different ups and downs that we went through and things like that. So I'm really excited about that. And the next one kind of goes along with that. Also, I do apologize for the lighting going absolutely wacky. <laughs> It's a partly cloudy day, so you have the sun going in and out. It's morning light, which I love, but I hope it's not too like annoying with how it's changing constantly. Anyways, the next one is actually inspired by Ann Voskamp's 1000 Gifts. I have realized since I started filming how much pulling out the camera helps me see the beauty in my mundane life. You know, often as homemakers, as young moms, it's hard to really see the beauty in things. It can just feel super mundane and boring. <laughs> so something that I want to work on this year is to pull out my camera often. I would love for this to be every single day, but even just a couple days of the week is fine. Just pull out my camera and take a picture of something that I am grateful for. And this is kind of a twofold goal for one, yes, to have that documented and to really keep that in the forefront of my mind, things I am grateful for. Gratitude can make such a huge difference in one's mindset, in one's view of life. However, also makes me take a lot of pictures of my kids, which is something I never regret. I always love looking back on and to just kind of be intentional about that. Next one is to compliment 
more. Um, specifically, my kids and my husband. I know often it's easy to, you're so like wrapped up in disciplining, in training up the little ones, and in answering all their needs through the day, and making snacks and stuff. Sometimes it's easy to just overlook things that they're doing really good in. And so this year I want to be really mindful of complimenting them as well as my husband and often remembering all the hard work that he goes to to provide for our family, the good job that he's doing with renovating, like all these things. The Bible says that the hour of life and death is in your tongue and I want to use that really well. Just speak life to everyone, like even to compliment people more in grocery stores, but especially in my own home with my husband and kids too. Be lavish with my compliments. Number nine is, I guess, kind of a traditional one as far as working out. I actually really enjoy working out. I've been really held back with just some health challenges I've gone through with my last pregnancy. I had very severe morning sickness, maybe known as hyperemesis gravidarium, and was bedridden literally nine months. And then soon after that, I developed a sinusitis that has to this day not been completely resolved. I might give a bit of a health update here in a video or two with what we're finding there, but basically it's been causing me a lot of pressure in my head, often feeling off balance, things like that that it's pretty hard to do an actual workout in. But we're getting there and there's days that I'm like, today I could work out, which is super exciting. We've had these weights and like a weight bench, I have kettlebells, dumbbells, all these things, and I've never actually properly learned to use them. So when we switched over our sunroom down, which is currently in renovation process, progress, <laughs> I had to decide. I was so tempted to just go sell them. I'm like, we've had this stuff for all this time, never really used it. like. Maybe we should just get rid of it. But then I decided, no, I've wanted to do this for so long and I actually have a friend now who is trained to be a personal trainer and she has agreed to kind of help me through that and I'm very excited to get started. So she actually gave me a rundown the other day of like some different moves I could do for things I want to target and stuff. So I'm very excited to get into more weightlifting this year and see how that goes. I have no idea if I'll love it or hate it, but I have a feeling I might love it. So I'm very excited for that. The next one kind of goes with that and it's just to learn more about nutrition, both for myself, for my kids, for my husband. I feel like the gift of nutrition is something that we as moms can give our kids and it is something that will last a lifetime. I know that some health issues you cannot avoid, but there's a lot that I feel like are greatly affected by how you nourish your bodies. And I learned so much about health and nutrition when I went through my Lyme journey and it truly is so fascinating. Anyway, so the gift of nutrition, healthy eating is something I don't want to obsess over. I know that can, that's also not unhealthy, but it is something that I really enjoy learning more about and I love to the best of my knowledge do a good job in that and just making healthy meals that still taste really good for my family. Number 10 is to be intentional about setting the tone for my home. You often hear that moms set the tone for their homes and I don't feel like I've been paying attention to that enough really. I want to be more intentional about that and to just make every day feel special for my husband and my kids. This does not mean that we have to have a five course dinner every day or anything like that. but. I have been very intentional the last, I don't know, year, maybe two, about getting dressed every day, doing my hair every day, um, and that really, really helps me to feel more productive through the day and also to feel my best for my husband, but I'd like to take it a step further and just be mindful, like start worship music before they come in from the barn for dinner so that that's playing. Maybe light a candle here and there, or I love uh, Sally Clarkson talks about having little tea parties with her kids. She always has um, some kind of tea on hand and can easily, you know, if they want to sit down and talk or whatever, if they're having a hard day, just to set up a really simple little tea party for them. Uh, and things like that. I would love to actually sit down and think this one through a little more, think of more ways that I could implement that. 
but I think that we have way more power in that than we actually realize and that is something I would like to also maximize this year so I hope that that was inspiring to you maybe gave you some ideas I would love to hear in the comments below what are some things that you are hoping to work on this year goals or if you do resolutions maybe that a word of the year if you're looking for ideas make sure you read through those comments there's often so many wonderful ideas that come in the comments that I'm like oh I wish I could include these in my video now so let's encourage each other down there I hope 2023 is your best year yet thank you so much for being here and I will look forward to seeing you next time bye friends golden, golden thing.